Welcome to the shack. Today we're going to talk about eliminating specific birdies of noise in your shack. Stay tuned. Welcome to Vince in the shack. I am on a frequency right now that's got a really nasty birdie. Hey, let's take a quick listen to it. Isn't that awful? And if I was trying to work a guy that was just right adjacent to that signal, it'd be kind of tough, right? Well, fortunately, there are these devices out there called phase shifting noise eliminators that are designed for exactly this scenario. They will take out a single frequency and reduce it in the audio passband so that you can hear the other signal. And they, they reduce it in the antenna and the uh, feed line system. And they do that by using a noise antenna and shifting the phase of it. So let's take a uh, quick look and listen to the waterfall and to the device itself. I'll introduce that noise so you can hear it as uh, we're doing things. And let's take a look at, uh, you can see on the waterfall first off, that there is... Uh, the specific spike of interest showing on my waterfall at negative 100 uh, dB. Um, it's still pretty loud when you compare it to the neg 120, that's the noise floor around it. Uh, so 20 dB, about uh, three and a half S units of uh, peaked noise that's not moving. Every once in a while you'll see it or hear it fluctuate a little bit in, uh, in volume. Um, so now let's take a peek at uh, how we get rid of that. So let me int introduce you to my QRM180. So first off, X-phase noise eliminators come in a variety of shapes, sizes, colors, and form factors. Later on in the video, I'll show you some screen grabs from um, major retailers so that you can see uh, what you can get for yourself in a pre-built or even in a kit. They are available uh, that way still if you look around on eBay and places like that. Um, the noise eliminator has two phases and a gain. And the, the phases are for the phase of your main listening antenna, the phase of the noise antenna, which in my case is placed in the shack because that's where a lot of my noise comes from with all the electronics I have in here, computer networking gear, computers and all that stuff. And then um, there's a gain which helps adjust it on uh, the it helps adjust the gain of the noise antenna. So the first thing you want to do is you want to have these knobs set so that they're all in the middle of uh, the device. And then you switch the device on and you listen. I'll bring that noise back in now so that we can hear it and work with it. This is more of a listen to it than look at the waterfall sort of exercise. So first off, the offending noise got really quiet. So in order to tune this properly, I want that noise just as loud as it was before. Turn it off, turn it on. I'm going to add the gain. And I'm switching it in and out. And I can see that I'm pretty well right on the money. And then all I want to do is I want to start adjusting the phase knobs and see if I can make it better. And just listen. Ooh, that's getting better. Sometimes it's a really subtle adjustment too. That's subtle. It dropped a bit. It didn't show it on the waterfall much. I'll we'll keep adjusting here. Oh, wow. Oh, I was going to say it went away. Go back to the first knob. Boy, now I can almost hear a weak signal in there, weak CW signal. So, it's not bad. It's fussy. I have to have a lot of patience. You've got to really want to work the signal. Try that all the way to the other end. No, that just makes it worse. 
This is a simple noise cancellation device is all it is. There we go, that's not bad. Now I'll turn it out of circuit and watch the waterfall. Remember that peak is just to the left of the green line. Take it out. Negative 100 and negative 98, maybe. I've got it down to oh, negative 110, negative 105. Depends, it changes in value a little bit. But that's still pretty usable. And that's not bad at all. And you saw how long that took me. It's not like I rehearsed it or anything. It's uh, It seems to be kind of different every time. So I hope uh, you found this interesting and maybe an interesting accessory for your shack. Uh, they're sold under a variety of names, as you see here in the screen grabs that I'm presenting. And I'll paste a few links uh, down below in the description. You know, I do that. And uh, maybe you want to add one of these into your shack again. What this thing doesn't do is get rid of broadband noise. It doesn't get rid of hash and static. That's not what it's designed to do. It's designed to get rid of a single frequency problem when you're trying to work somebody on a particular frequency. It helps get rid of that adjacent noise. So this is just another nice tool in your toolkit to have around in your shack. Uh, I never need one of these in the field. There's never a whole lot of noise in the field. Uh, that's the joy running on battery and QRP. I hope you found this interesting. Thanks for watching. 73. See you soon.